How's it going everybody? MRG here and in this video I wanted to talk a little about some of the things I thought were a little concerning about Modern Warfare from what we saw from the beta a couple weeks ago and also about some of the things that I liked from the beta. So let's start with that. So the first thing that I enjoyed was the kill streaks and seeing them actually be kill streaks instead of score streaks. The 7 to 10 kill range streaks is definitely going to be where it's at. I thought the cruise missile was a little overrated along with some of the streaks around the 5 kill range. But I think the streaks are going to be kick ass eventually. They may not be the best right away when the game gets released. But they're going to be above average compared to other streaks on other Call of Duty games in my opinion. The second thing I liked was the perks. The perk 2 and especially the perks in the perk 3 category are all for the most part going to be useful. It just depends on which one will fit your playstyle more. But the perk 3 category is going to come in handy, and the perk 1 category, EOD will be the best. That's probably all that I'm going to use. I don't think the others will be as useful as EOD in the perk 1 slot. Another thing that was pretty awesome was the game modes. The list of game modes on the beta was pretty long, and there should be way more to choose from on the full game once it gets released. Ground War was insane. I can't wait to play that again with those massive lobbies. It might be a little overwhelming with the streaks, but I think that will be a lot of fun once things get rolling. Now here are my concerns, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about these. Number one, the shotguns. The shotguns were too inconsistent in the beta. I saw a few people doing well with them at certain points, but for me, when I land three or four upper body shots within 20 feet on somebody, and the guy is still shooting at me, it's a little concerning. Obviously the shotguns are not going to be like the MW2 shotguns, but hopefully the shotties are a little bit more consistent than how they were on the beta. I'm not saying they have to be good, I just want a bit more consistency there. Number two, the recoil. The recoil, especially with the ARs, I would say is different. It doesn't feel like any other Call of Duty game from before. The gun recoil can be too shaky. It's unlike any other game in the series when it comes to that. So I think a lot of people are going to have to get used to that at first. It's probably going to take a while for most players. The third concern, and probably one of the biggest things, I'm just going to make this quick because most of you can already imagine how I feel about this if you've seen some of my other videos. Yeah, the crossplay, it should be console exclusive. When I was playing the beta, I was having a great time playing against the PS4 players. It was fun. It was great going against them. My best matches on the beta came in lobbies that had mainly PS4 players on the other team. So I'm okay with that part. But it just isn't going to work mixing it with the PC players. As soon as I started playing against PC players in my lobby, I immediately turn crossplay off, and I plan on doing the same thing when the game gets released in a few days. The fourth concern that I have, and one of the biggest things that a lot of people are not talking about, is how the game is punishing players for adding additional attachments. People are saying, oh, this game is going to bring the series back. It's going to be like the good old days again. Let me stop you right there. This multiplayer is not going to be like the other Modern Warfare games as far as how the game punishes you for adding other attachments. Call of Duty 4 didn't do that. MW2, nope, it didn't do that either, and neither did MW3. I really don't like the idea of losing my aim down sight speed because I decide to put a red dot on my gun, or because I put extended mags on, or if I put a stock on my gun, or whatever. You get the point. I'm just a little concerned about that if they decide to keep that uh, attachment system the same from the beta. And the fifth thing that I'm concerned about that really every shooter game obviously has is camping. This game, I'm just going to warn you now, I think this game is going to take it to a new level. There's a few things that immediately stood out to me in the beta. The first thing was the sprint out time. I thought it was just as bad as Call of Duty World War II sprint out time, just like how it was when that game first came out. If you remember how bad that was, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
The second thing was the claymores. Once everybody unlocked those, everybody used them. EOD was pretty useful at stopping that, but just the amount of people using claymores was ridiculous. Shrapnel was a big part of that, letting people spawn with two pieces of equipment. So it'll be interesting to see if they end up nerfing that perk at some point. Also, the deployable wall. <laughs> it was as if they just made this game for campers. At least that was my first impression when I saw that in the game. The only person that likes walls is Trump and Bob the Builder, okay? We don't need a deployable wall in the game. That's encouraging people to camp even more. I don't think we need that. The only reason I ended up using it was because it was one of the few things that you could unlock. So yeah, that's my five main concerns for the multiplayer from what we saw from the beta. Over the next few days, I guess we will see how things go. But anyways, be sure to check out my Twitch stream on the weekend. I'll be getting back into streaming soon. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.